I was going through my makeup collection recently and I saw that I have a ton of stuff from Revolution Beauty and from some of the different brands within that company. So XX Revolution, iHeart Revolution, Revolution Pro. And when I say a ton of stuff, I mean like 12 palettes. I am obsessed with these XX Revolution palettes. They're so pretty and the formula is just amazing. And I have a lot of palettes. These palettes retail for $15. And I'm telling you, that formula is comparable to Pat McGrath. Don't shoot me, but it's the truth. So $15 versus $65 for one of those Pat McGrath quads. Hey, I would check it out. Three blushers, not including the ones in the face palettes that I have, and I have a face palette by Tammy X and the other by Patricia Bright. At least four bronzers, okay? Not including the ones in the face palette. Who says a chocolate girl doesn't need a bronzer? Come on, we, we want some sun too. What's wrong with you people? I have many, many lip products, including a lot of lip plumpers that I don't need. So you don't need to put it in the comments, okay? So basically, you name it, I have it. So I figured why not just do a full face of Makeup Revolution products today? So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I would like to use my voice to bring a little awareness to this issue. African American women have a 31% mortality rate compared to other ethnic groups. The highest of any ethnic group. And when they are diagnosed with breast cancer, they're more likely to be diagnosed at a more advanced stage compared to other ethnic groups. So just a couple things, follow up with your mammograms and just go ahead and do your monthly breast exams, okay? If you feel anything weird, okay, something out of place, then just go ahead and schedule an appointment with your doctor, follow up on it, okay? I'll include a link below with more facts about breast cancer if you wanna know a little bit more about this issue. With all of that said, let's just go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and I'm using this I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker Primer in the shade Almond. So just go ahead and put a little bit on your eyes. Go ahead and blend it out. And I'm gonna set it in place with this Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Setting Powder. Picking a bit up on the same concealer brush. And I'm just gonna tap it all over my eye. And this is such a nice powder. It doesn't leave a cast or anything. So I'm gonna start out with this palette here and it's called a Truth or Dare palette. And so this is a Revolution Pro palette and that's what it looks like inside. And I picked this up at Ulta on sale for $9.99. Everything that I'm using here today, every single product is under $20. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. I don't even know what the name of the shade is. It's just a nice neutral brown. So I'm using that as my transition shade, okay? And so today we're gonna be doing a pink eyeshadow look, okay? I'm going in with this shade next, and this is slightly darker, and I'm just gonna concentrate this on my outer C, and I'm just gonna use the same brush to do that. Bring it under your eye, and wing it out a little bit. Okay, so that's how that looks so far, so we're just gonna go ahead and apply some pink shadows. I couldn't find the right shade of pink in all of these palettes, but I do have this face palette by XX Revolution, okay? This is the Dimensions palette. That's what it looks like inside. And this is actually a blush, but I think it'll be perfect as an eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pick some up with my finger like that. That's how it looks. And I'm just gonna put this all over my eye. That is very, very pink. Okay. Go ahead and add some more. We want it to be really, really pink. Okay, and so that's how that looks. We'll go ahead and do the other eye. We have a lot of fallout. We don't have our foundation on just yet, so we'll clean all of this up in the end. 
But I wanna define my eyes just a little bit more. I feel like the pink is just kind of there. So I'm gonna go in with this bronzer right here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on my outer C like that. And just sweep it over the pink just a little bit like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead, clean this up a little bit, add some eyeliner, some lashes, and we'll come back to finish up the rest of our face. So we're back, we have the lashes on, and that's how we look so far. So let's just move into prime and foundation, highlighting and all of that. To prime my face, I'm gonna go in with this Revolution Glass Skin Primer. So I'm gonna apply a little bit to my face. Now this is a really dewy primer. So if you have oily skin, this might not be the best primer for you. And I'm probably gonna apply more on the outside of my face versus the inside of my face because I'm really oily in my T-zone. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend it out using my fingertips. And that's how that looks, okay guys? So if you're wondering about the glass skin primer, that's how that looks, okay? For foundation, I'm gonna be using this XX Revolution Foundation in FX16. So FX16 is for dark skin with warm undertone and this foundation is infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid and it's described as a long wear foundation with a silk finish. I'm gonna apply a little bit to my hand. Okay, that's how that looks. Okay, and so I'm gonna use my hands today to apply this foundation. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit like I normally do and I'm just gonna tap it all over my face. More in the areas that I need it most. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend this in. That's how that looks with just one pump, okay? And I'm gonna go over this with a foundation brush just to really blend it in. It's really, really dewy as you guys can see. But that's probably because of the primer. Okay, so there you go. So I'm just gonna move on to brows before we apply our concealer. For brows, I'm gonna go in with this Revolution Pro eyebrow pencil and this is in dark brown and it's a typical brow pencil you have your product at one end and then your spoolie at the other I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in like I normally do okay and so that's how that looks and just comb the brow hair in place just to move any product around Okay, so that's how that looks. We'll go ahead and do the other brow. That's how that looks. I think that's a really good brow pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up just a little bit. I'll use the same iHeart Revolution concealer to clean it up and I'm gonna go more towards the end. Okay, and so that's how that looks so far. We'll go ahead and clean up the other brow. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with the XX Revolution concealer and this is in CX 12.5. So I'm just gonna conceal all of the areas that I normally conceal. And, and so this concealer is for dark skin with warm undertone once again, and it is infused with that same vitamin E and hyaluronic acid. And this is supposed to be a long wear crease proof concealer, we'll see. So I'm just gonna use a Dampen Beauty Blender to blend all of this out. This concealer is very, very thick. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit lighter, maybe a more natural sort of skin finish, then I would just say that this concealer is not for you. Grab your foundation brush and just blend out the edges like that, okay? Okay, so we'll go ahead and finish blending out off camera because this is a lot of blending. We are all blended and I'm gonna go ahead and set under my eyes with this Revolution Pro Hydro Matte Setting Powder. I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my favorite brush or one of my favorite brushes and I'm just gonna press it under my eyes like I normally do. How beautiful is that setting powder? Like it goes on kind of white, but there's no cast. Isn't that amazing? 
side of the nose. And so that's how that looks. I think I'm gonna do just the bronzer today. I'm not gonna contour or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in with this Revolution Mega Bronzer in Deep. And this is like $8, okay? I love the formula, it's just really like creamy. So I'm just gonna use one of my other favorite brushes and I'm just gonna bronze up my face just a little bit and you can see how deep that is and I just think that that's just so pretty. And for $8, oh my God, I mean, you can't beat that price. So I wanna contour my nose just a little bit. So a trick that I use is I grab the bronzer or contour product or whatever, and then I rub it between my middle fingers. Okay, like that, okay? And so you have product like right there, okay? And so I just, go like this and I bring it down my nose like this so that's like a really quick way to contour your nose and you can go in and like clean up the the edges and all that so I'll use my concealer brush to clean up the edges a little bit so there you go that's a really quick nose contour job for blush I'm gonna go in with this XX Revolution blush in the shade rubble and that's what it looks like inside it's fuchsia I'm just gonna grab a little bit and I'm just gonna put it right on the apples of my cheek, like right there. And then I'll bring it back. Okay, and I'll bring a little bit across my forehead, and down the nose a little bit, just to pull the whole look together. That's as much as I do, that's enough blush for me. For highlight, I wanna try out this Revolution highlighter in Misfit Love, and this is from the Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Okay, that's how that looks. So I'm just gonna grab a fan brush, grab a little bit of the product, and I'm just gonna bring it to the highest point of my cheek, like right there. Maybe a little bit more. I like that. And I, I really only got it because like I was online uh, looking at it and then it was sold out on Revolution Beauty and I happened to be in Ulta so I'm like, and it was there. So I'm like, mm, I might as well just get it. So I got it, it's for $10. For lips, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip liners from Revolution Beauty and this is the TGIF Lip Liner. And I'm gonna go over this with my Lip Vinyl in Gone Rogue. Just line your lips. Let's go in with Gone Rogue. This is where we're at. Our look is almost done. All we need to do is add some setting spray. And today I'm gonna to be using this Revolution Sports Fix setting spray. So I'm just gonna give my face a good spray. So this is it guys, our look is done. This is our full face of Revolution Beauty makeup products. This is also a pink makeup tutorial in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If there are other looks that you guys would like me to do, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. If you're a brand that would like me to feature your product, go ahead and DM me on Instagram. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.